I am Andrew Baker's Gas. I'm here today to do a comparison video between the all-new Millermatic 211 Pro and the all-new PowerMake 211i. So the 211i came out a little bit earlier than the 211 Pro by Miller. Um, but in this video, we're just going to go over their features, their noticeable differences, uh, what they come with, what they have as far as warranties, power output, that sort of thing. So just to jump right in, you guys can see them side by side here. I'll spin them so you guys can see either side. So we got the door on this side. Pull the wire, some accessories in there, our chart. This is just the Lincoln nice aluminum power block for feeding your wire and everything. But you notice the doors are on opposite sides on these two competitive machines, which is interesting, but just spinning them around, uh, just checking them out here. Another chart on the inside of here. We got our wire aluminum drive roll set. One drive roll wheel, that one has two, but um, very similar to the same thing. Now this is unique to Miller though. Uh, you just unthread a plug. I got it plugged in at 220 and then that one plugs in you go to 110 using the same cord. Whereas Lincoln here it comes with an adapter. You can see that adapter cord, that plug, molded 220 plug into a 110 adapter. Comes with a molded 220 plug on it. Um, the Lincoln is noticeably heavier. This one's 35 pounds and this one's noticeably heavier than that. So a little bit, a little bit heavier. Um, just on the front of the machines too, you can see the new 211 Pro digital display, easy to see, nice and clear. Uh, they got auto set, menu button, both knobs, our selector knobs, pretty cool. And then you jump over to the 211, you can select the same things, right? Our gas, our wire diameter, and then our material thickness. Um, but these are more analog, right? So they're just but very bright, very easy to see what you're doing. Um, we got it on 8th inch here, this one you have to click, go into that 8th inch, we'll go down the 8th inch here, click on it, boom, that gives us 19 volts, 230 inches a minute. This one on 8th inch, 18 volts, 240 inches a minute. A little bit different, not sure why, just something with the engineering setup, programming, everything like that. But um, very different interfaces on both machines. I've welded with both of them, they both weld really, really nice. Um, a couple of other big differences are duty cycle. So the Miller does exceed the Lincoln's duty cycle on 220. Um, so they both have at 30% duty cycles. This one's at 215 amps and this one's at 175 amps. So very different on that aspect. This one has more output power or I guess longevity wise right now on the output of that power. So, um, but very, very interesting to put them side by side and, and you know, People see them, they see pictures, they never see them all together. It's always nice to take a look at these things all together. Um, but both of them are very, both robust. We'll link all the pricing down below so you can check out the difference in that. Um, but both of them are very, I don't know, they're, they're both nice machines that well with both of them. Um, and to pick one over the other one, it, it's, it's comparable, right? But there is a price difference in between them, so check that out. So another major difference too on, on the units, um, like I said, I've welded both of them. Uh, the Miller, now the new Miller 211 Pro comes with a 15 foot main gun and a 15 foot ground clamp so I can get further away from my work table uh, and weld. This one has a 10 foot on both. So that's a big major difference. Now I have a full video out there on the 211 Pro and I have a full video out there on the 211i, our make 211i. Uh, we'll link those down below so you can check them out. Individual videos goes over there. I will both of them show you guys how, how they both work. Um, and then if you're looking for a multi-process machine, now these are just MIG units only, so MIG welding only. If you're looking for a multi-process unit, I'll link those videos down below too because there's a step up from both of these. They're multi-process. I do a comparison video on both of them. Also, there's just individual videos on both of them as well. So check those out too. But if you guys got any questions, comments on either one of these machines, leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for some more.